Well, sentiment on China has, has gotten just simply too bearish. Uh, you can't find any bulls these days, but I think fears of the economic slowdown there are pretty much overblown. And from a, a true contrarian's perspective, it really doesn't get much better than that. You know, from 2011 to 2013, China contributed more to global consumption growth than any other uh, nation on Earth, and that includes the USA. Uh, in fact, China now accounts for about 16% of total worldwide GDP, and that share has doubled just in the last 15 years. So to me, it's only a matter of time before China's stock market plays catch up and doubles again as well. Um, in the beginning of 2013, we got new leadership in Beijing, and they were stressing more social reforms and rebalancing China's economy away from the old export growth model and in favor of more organic domestic consumption growth. Now, this policy change is already yielding some really good results. Um, greater reliance on consumer goods and consumer services means faster employment growth in China, higher wages, which in turn promotes rising consumer wealth and spending. And sure enough, in the first uh, half of this year alone, urban incomes in China are up about 9.5% year over year. And wage growth in China has beaten out GDP growth uh, for the past five quarters straight. So we're starting to see some very positive changes, more consumer-centric. Chinese stocks are undervalued because I think too many investors are, are skeptical about China's investment prospects going forward. And I can understand why. I mean, look, the... The stock market has lagged behind the S&P 500 for the past three years in a row. But now that's beginning to change. On a valuation basis, stocks in China are an absolute bargain compared to U.S. stocks. Uh, the, the Hang Seng China Enterprises Index has a P ratio of just 7.8 times earnings right now. That's ridiculously cheap. And a dividend yield of over 4%. Uh, U.S. stocks, by comparison, are trading at 18 times earnings and yield less than 2%. So investors are beginning to catch on to this valuation. In the, the last uh, three months alone, the China Enterprises Index is up 7%, while the Dow Jones Industrials has gained only about 3.5%, 4%. So Chinese stocks are quietly playing catch-up here, and that's why I'm taking a closer look right now. For Money and Markets, this is Mike Burnick. Good investing. <laughs>